Welcome to the Den of Tools. Howdy guys and gals, Jeff King here back in the Den of Tools and today we got the Fantic Nex E1 Pro. This is the big brother, if you would, to the uh, screwdriver set that we saw the other day, the little compact one. This is, uh, it's pretty cool, honestly. This is the kind of thing, again, if you didn't see it before, you know, you press one side, it slides out. This is actually an electric screwdriver, and there you have all the controls, everything, a couple different torque things. We're going to get all into it and take a look at it. So let's jump into it, get, get a hands-on with it, and see what you think. All right, we got the Fantech Nex E1 Pro here. You saw its baby brother here the other day. As you can see, that case is much shorter, much thinner, and there's a reason for the, uh, the extra size on this one, if you will. And that, of course, is because this contains an electric screwdriver rather than the manual one like we saw in the last one. Now you just see here, you grab one of these, just like the last one, you press down, tip it up, magnetically snaps into place. You've got a forwards, here we go, forwards and reverse. And you've got controls back here. You've got low torque, high torque, and then that is the, uh, the off, basically putting it into manual mode, if you will. Now, this thing currently, so I think it's got a sale price on, um, uh, whatchamacallit, on the the, uh, the Fantic website of like $40, but it often goes down much cheaper on Amazon. I'll show you the Amazon price here in just a little bit. As to what it all comes with, well, it claims to have metal gears on the inside. I have not taken it apart, who knows. A uh, strong magnet motor, what other kind of motor is there? Rechargeable lithium batteries. Now this is cool. It has a, I don't know if you can see that there, it's a USB-C, there we go, a USB-C port in the bottom. That's really nice, really convenient. You don't know special kind of adapters or anything like that. Uses S2 steel screw bits, Type-C charging, as we said, and aluminum. This whole thing here is aluminum, so that's not magnetic itself. Has a really nice kind of anodized finish to it. It's not super slippery. It actually has a little bit of texture to it, so you can get a grip on it. That's pretty nice. It It's honestly a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. There you can see the name on it. Look at that. Ooh, and fancy there, if I can get, get into focus, maybe, yeah, maybe not, oh, there it is, look at that. Let's talk about what we get. So we get 45 millimeter long bits here, and they're going to be, uh, you're going to get a hex, you're going to get uh, two torque security in that, you're going to get two Phillips and one slotted right here, and then you're going to get into the, the normal bits, you got 28 millimeter normal bits, you got nine types. You're going to have hex, you're going to have the torque security, you're going to have standard torque, you're going to have Phillips, you're going to have slotted, and you're going to have uh, some Trilo and some of these other miscellaneous ones that I'm not really sure what they're called, W15s, Y06s, a Y1. So we can take a look at all of that here in, in just a minute. Um, but as to like, you know, what it can do, well, let's have some fun with it, all right? All right, so we're going to do a post-mortem on this winch see what it can do. Let me set this thing into high torque. We'll see if it can take these things out. Well, it doesn't want to. Let's see if we do it. If I do it manually, I can get it to that point. No. Nope. You can hear it. Now, I think this is well beyond what it's probably designed for. Let's change the torque setting and see if that helps. Wow, look at that. Well, that made a world of a difference, didn't it? Let's try this one here. Nope, it's still not gonna start it by hand. I still have to start it by hand. So I press it, I turn, and I turn it off. There we go. I 
Okay, we got one screw that somehow I missed. Let's set this to high torque. Get in here. Oh, we got it. We got that one. That's one of these short ones. Take a little more light in here. All right. Da da dum. Da da d. There's another one. Okay. Right on the board there. Look at that. Right, that's what this thing is for. All right, well, there you go. There you saw it. It's not the most powerful thing out there. This is not something for doing heavy duty work or even working on, you know, not necessarily heavy duty, just tougher kind of jobs like pulling a, a screw out of like, you know, something like that, that hoist where it's set hard into a, a, a glass fiber resin uh, or polymer material. It, that's that's probably not what it's suitable for. It's for taking apart like, you know, laptops, electronics, working on your eyeglasses, all the basically small precision kind of kind of tools. And in that it excels. I thought the uh, I'd seen a lot of these and they seemed really big. And this one was really kind of you know compact. You saw it in the hand. Let me show you again real quick. Let me pop it out here. And uh, as far as the screwdriver itself, it is I won't call it dainty, but it. It's bigger than a pen, but not so much that I that I really notice. Maybe for you, maybe it's a big issue for me. I thought it was pretty compact. Uh, this is going to live on my desk. So that's, that. as I said before, this is not a portable, like you're going to take it everywhere, throw it in your tool bag kind of thing. That's not what this is for. This is, it looks on the desk, makes your desk area look cool and sharp and stylish if you care about that sort of thing. I just like the screwdriver. I, I honestly, I think the case is a bit, bit redonkulous. Um, I know some people like it. If you do, that's fine. That That's, you know, I'm not here to, as my wife says, yuck your yum. If you like it, that's great. You like it. Um, I like the set inside. That, uh, that I like. In fact, if I, I probably won't even keep it in the case. I'll probably just keep it sitting on the desk like this and probably end up losing the external case because it's sharp and I don't need it. I don't need to to be to have to take it in and out every time I want to grab it and, and do something with it. Anyway, that's it. Let's go through some of the information. As said, Fantec Mini Electric Screwdriver, 24 magnetic precision bits, two gears, not one. A repair tool set for phone, camera, laptop, watch, computer, whatever. Um, anyway, it's it's got a motor in it. Yeah, you got your bits. We talked about those. We talked about that, the torques and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, as far as that's concerned, hmm. <laughs> Okay, just like the other one, it they will hold in place, okay? And if you turn it upside down and you shake it, they're not going to fall anywhere. I did just drop it on the floor, and I got to play a 24-bit pickup. That was lots of fun. So it's it's going to hold them in place from casual shaking and turning it upside down. If you drop it, they're still going to scatter, okay? Let's be entirely honest about that. $49, $50, save an extra 20% when you clip the little coupon there. So let's see, your 10% would be 5 so 20 is 10 That takes it down to $40. I'll say this. It, would I buy it for $40 for myself? Well, after having used it, I might. Uh, if I just saw it and was looking at it, no, I, I wouldn't. I, I honestly, I get put off, I, and I'm getting crotchy in my old age. I get put off by things that are like overly designed to look cool and stuff. Honestly, though, having used it, I, I kind of like it. Um, but would I get it for a gift for somebody else? If I had somebody I thought this would be good for, at 40 bucks, that makes a great little Christmas gift. And we're going into the holidays, so I just want to think about that. Maybe consider it for that case. Let me know what you think down below. Is this going to go on your wish list? Do you think it's going to, you're going to go on someone else's uh, stuff or stocking kind of list? Let me know what you think down there in the, in the comments. Don't forget to uh, chomp the old like button, smash the subscribe, ring the bell on the way out. You all take care. God bless. And as always... Shine on.